In the basic control video, we talked at length about the importance of doing a pre-split. These first few tips are actually going to re explore those ideas. Zerg in particular really benefits from a pre-split as their units have the greatest movement speed in the game. This means hit and run tactics and winning with overwhelming odds are the key to victory with Zerg. As you can see, the Zerg is getting a very idealistic split here. And this is kind of to emphasize like Terran moving out to take like a Zelnaga tower or a forward position on the map. As you can see, the Terran has very little room to maneuver or move around with once those lings get a good surround and lock them into place. We're going to do a, another version of this where the Zerg gets less of an ideal surround. In fact, not going for any kind of pre-split at all. And you can totally see the difference with the Terran choosing to back up and get lots of his units out of the way of those pesky, pesky banelings. What this does is reduce the AOE damage he takes. In this next matchup, you see that the scores are heavily favoring the Terran, and we have a more realistic form of Zerg pre-split, and of course this is also assuming that the Terran takes a Zelnaga tower or a forward position, and as you can see, the Terran gets some of his units away, but the Zerg still gets a great surround and good hits. This is what most of your surrounds will look like in fights, but always position for the pre-split. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Wait, can I do this for real? What? <laughs> Safety platform. I didn't know I could micro all the way back here. <laughs> oh, this is so unfair. Oh, they still take forever to kill. Boom.